Is it uh, there? Is is it possible? F uh, is it profitable for you to play always the same two regs? Um, yes, not always. Not in every not in every situation, but um, often the with the rake back your uh, with the leaderboard your uh, rake back is going to be in excess of hundred percent. So you need to make zero chips in a lot of these lineups, and that's definitely possible. I think I've maybe make long term one or two chips. I would guess. I think I'm above zero. Let's say I don't know if that's deluded or whatnot, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm above zero. And if you add 100% rate back to that, very profitable games. Maybe. We did not win the 5x. We could have done with winning that, to be honest. We'll call the Queen Jack suited. We just got a flick in on 9 4. There they with ace, kings, nice jack, and we're like, no, we're off. <laughs> so it's just going to have to be a, it's just going to have to be a get it in for us. Queen Jack suited here. All right, let's check, check. I mean, a lovely turn for us. Um, so, don't see any reason not to go for it. He hasn't really got ace two in his range. He hasn't really got six seven off in his range. So we've got all the straights. Six two suited certainly in our range, not in his. So I think it makes sense just to bet. People just do nothing. Ah, it does, Nikki. It does, and I'm very excited for it. Good regs want to be good regs all the time. Uh, I will see bet this, uh, and then we'll just basically see bet and give up is the decision. I think there's enough folds we'll get here. If we bet three with blinds, he doesn't have to fold much, but like, let's give him a hand like ace eight suited. He'll defend it pre, and he's just got a fold here, I think, to this flop. Um, I mean, if we hit king, okay, that'll be great. But like, I'm also fine to bet fold this one. We want to have some hands that we just won and done it, right? I mean, it makes sense. You don't want to just have our entire range um, bet shove, even if they're bluffs as well. Like it's, we're allowed to have some pet folds, and I think we should have. Uh, Eight point five, nine point seven, triple pocket jacks, really close. Yes, all min. Can't be too bad. Wubsy, uh, any improvement on the? Any? We still. I'm. St I'm. I. I, I was hoping uh, to maybe. Hear that you've been working on a little. Maybe someone had a guilty conscience. Yeah. Should we donk? Should we donk? Should we donk? Should we donk? Do we donk? Do we donk? Do we donk on this board? Yes. Decided. Yes. Like the diamond. Like the heart. Like the five. Like the board. G G G G G. Four out of four. Knock on your door. Donk a doodle. <laughs> what is he gone mad? Yeah. He's yeah. He's lost it, isn't he? All right, min bet. When there's a lot of regs, you need to get out of the way. Get out of the way. Someone's getting got. Bang. How many games on average do you have to win to be in profit? Uh, on average, one third of them. Uh, three players. So if you win 33% in the long run, you'll be... 33.33. Uh, you'd be break even. Uh, you'd be losing a tiny bit because of rake. So you'd want to win more like... 34%, you'd probably be fine. Uh, I'm just going to check this one. We could also bet. I mean, pretty indifferent. We'll shove the king nine here. Again, it's a really easy cut over rep. At the same time, I think I will try and rep it. Repping. What are we doing out here? Mainly repping. Why is that not purple? We've got a lovely 5x, it's not purple. Check in. Oh, he's on it, mate. Oh, hello. This would be a nice, uh, let's say. Nah, I don't want to give you time pressure. I feel like time pressure is too difficult for you. But um, maybe we could. Well, we'll see. These voices, I hear them. And when they talk, I follow. These voices. 
Da, 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 da. I'm not sure if I should bet this or not. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. No, maybe it is a good idea. What is he cool with? Queen two. Nice. Uh, check. Top pair, baby. Check. He check checks. Could also bet maybe sometimes, but I mean, I don't think it needs to do too. It's it's EV is negligible. Let's say I think. Yeah. Uh, eight B blind seven nine off. I think we could limp. I think we could. No, I don't think it's a bit, be a bit loose. I think to shove. By the way, we're still registered in the reg speeds. They just don't run. Basically, that's the thing. We're registering all. We still got the five and the two fifty just sitting there. They're just not running. So we're just gonna keep trundling along with ultras. We would quite like to win this one because, um, yeah, could do with a bankroll boost. Let's say. Let's limp trap. Otherwise, we might have to play in a bit longer to try and get even, you know? Okay. Top pair. It's pretty good. Um, could use a bunch of different sizings. Let's bet 2.5. Um, what's... The Hang on, we're going to shove 8-10, we're going to fold queen 2, and then we're going to see uh, what the question... Is it... Uh, there it is. Is it possible... F uh, is it profitable for you to play always the same two regs? Um, yes. Not always, not in every, not in every situation. But... Um, often the with the rake back, your... Uh, with the leaderboard, your uh, rake back's going to be in excess of 100%. So you need to make zero chips in a lot of these lineups, and that's definitely possible. I think I have maybe make long-term one or two chips, I would guess. I think I'm above zero, let's say. I don't know if that's deluded or whatnot, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm above zero. And if you add 100% rate back to that, very profitable games. Maybe. We did not win the 5x. We could have done with winning that, to be honest. The yeah, question for them, Pisces Salsis, is it profitable for them to play the same two regs again and again? Because these guys will play more volume than me, and actually I think their rake back will be less. And I mean, we, we, we're we not all, let's say, someone's not making chips long term in this game. Now, I'm, I'm confident my chip is above zero. I think, if I'm totally honest, I think, mm, I don't want to be, how can I say this? I think me and Ryan's chips will be above zero. And then there's someone else that wouldn't be long term. <laughs> All right, this is where the turntables turn. Three beavers, please. Not quite the one-third. I always like to put in these weird... Let's give us some weird SPRs post. Yeah, I mean, we just jam. It is what it is. We could also go like three quarters here. That'd be interesting. Maybe like 1.5? Maybe makes a mistake? I don't know. Like, we could we could also go like 1.5 or something just to see if he wants to, like, let's say, float a hand like 10 jack. It would have been actually bad on that run out, but that would have been definitely an option as well. Um, we ran into an overpair, though. That was... Uh, Seems unusual for today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I feel like sometimes the um, ultras will be like this. Where you do just run into a lot of overpairs. And it happens. It's funny because as soon as someone gets that kind of like, as soon as someone puts that, uh, let's say, slightly more uh, aggressive, uh, let's say, uh, what am I saying? That aggressive kind of, you know, um, slightly macho, I don't know if that's the right word either, but uh, that kind of 
pushing it uh, uh, name. I'm always like, I'm always like, what's 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 going on there? You know what I mean? What's let's let's examine that. Like, what what's what was the motivation behind that? To like to tilt people, let's say. And like, what's the motivation to tilt people or something? Like, what's going on? Is there an insecurity there that we're trying to cover up for? And what could that be? But then I think it's not that, I mean, no one cares that much. Uh, we'll fold the jack five, the queen seven. I think we'll fold. Kind of close, to be honest. And I think it's a fold. I think like 4.6 would be definitely cool. Not sure. We'll jam the ace eight. We'll jam the ace five. These are easy. Into two dominated hands. It happens. Hey, we don't mind hitting the pocket pairs. We'll just, we'll just get there. That's that's not a new plan. Give them the pocket pairs and we'll just hit. That's so uh, we'll take that. Kind of says you can't get 100% reg back playing high volume because the leaderboard doesn't compensate a large rig. So what do you think the reason about regs? Uh, so what do you think their reason about our regs would be? I mean, part of it is like, uh, let's say if they're getting the occasional recreational as well, because obviously they're, I'm just playing two tables. They're playing three tables. One thing I will say is like, it's not that lucrative in terms of getting the occasional recreational or not. It's, it's very marginal. Uh, uh, like we've been, we've had open seats for the last hour and a half in terms of 250s. And I think we played one game. The games run a tiny bit more at the high stakes ultras, but not miles more you could look at the leaderboard and see how many randoms have turned up in fact i'll just do a quick but i'll be surprised if there's more than one or two people have played them um if we looked at the ultra so yeah but that would be a justification let's say yeah we've had two guys play a game in the last two hours so i played against the two guys so they probably open sit in the third one. It's it's just not running that frequently. King seven, we have no um, showdown, but we have just bad bluffing candidate. I think uh, we do block king queen, which is something. But maybe this is a good hand to check raise. Mm, I can't really think why we want to check raise it though. Ah, <laughs> oh, could have worked, huh? Could have worked. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. We have a tiny bit of shot in though. I think we'd be massively over bluffing if we took that in line. I'll check it. I mean, I'm never, I'm never one hundred percent confident, but I'm sure it's not a bluff on the river. I wonder if it's a f not. Is it going to be a fold and a flop? It's interesting. It might be a fold and a flop to be honest. Without a back door, a straight draw, just a back to flush or a king high. Because I mean, that king high is like dominate sometimes, so. Maybe we just let that go on the flop, to be honest. Again, we'll mark it, we'll have a look. We'll limp the 10-jack suited. Koyaladi, once again, successfully, successfully unlocking the mold, the, the mold option. We're gonna ice a jam for six suited. This and some of the uh, lower ends uh, suit connectors are fine to open jam. Open jam the ace jack there. Six year off is obviously going to be a fold. Ace of suit is obviously going to be a cool. Good luck, good luck. Ace king obviously going to be a cool. I mean, we could non linear, but I mean, uh, this stack definitely I'm just going to shove, to be honest, at six. Like, yeah, you could have. I mean, you can one third it, but like, it's whatever. We'll shove the queen five for six. Run into tens. Okay. Uh, we'll call the jack nine for five point three. We'll call the jack seven for two point nine. 